Hi there. This question is from Gate 2004 exam. It was asked for one mark. They are saying if three digit floating point arithmetic is used, what will be the result of these two expressions? Mind it, three digit floating point arithmetic. They are not saying three bit floating point arithmetic. That means you need not convert these numbers into binary. We can work in decimal number system only because three digit this word three digit is used okay step one let's see how will they be represented okay so 1.13 if you normalize it you are going to get this okay minus 111 will become 1.11 into 10 raised to the power 2 plus 7.5 will be left as it is and the exponent will become 0 okay this is the standard method of representing numbers you know about that scientific notation okay we write 0 point something or 1 point something that is it's a convention that decimal point will be placed after the first digit okay in uh, Normal binary number system also we follow this convention if IEEE standards are used. Okay. After this, we will perform the addition or these calculations. But you need to know one point. Suppose you need to add 2.2 into 10 raised to the power 4 and 0 0.2 into 10 raised to the power 1. Okay. Can I simply add these two numbers and say answer is 2.2? Four. Can I say no? Because this is incorrect. We need to consider these exponents also. This is not 2.2. It's actually 22,000. This is not 0 0.2. It is actually 2. So 22,000 plus 2 has to be performed. That is we need to make these exponents equal as step 1. Then we are going to add. Okay. Now in binary we just make the for example suppose these numbers were in binary you have something into 2 raised to the power okay if you are following binary number system just take the number with smaller exponent make its exponent equal to the larger one okay so in binary we only consider the exponents but in decimal we need to consider the entire number that is magnitude of the number the number which has smaller magnitude will be converted. Okay, don't consider sign. We are only talking about magnitude. Let's discuss what I am saying. So here the exponents are equal. We can simply just solve it. 1.13 minus 1.11 will become 0 0.02 into 10 raised to the power 2 is left as it is. Okay. And this is plus 7.51. into 10 raised to the power 0. Now see what I am saying. They cannot be directly added. You cannot add these mantises. Okay. We need to consider exponents also because they are not equal. Which one is the smaller number? This because this number is 2. This number is 7 point something. Okay. So this is the smaller number. Take its exponent. Make it equal to 0. Now, if you want to make exponent of this number 0, you will write 2 into 10 raised to the power 0. Here it will be 7.51 into 10 raised to the power 0. See, whatever is actually saved in registers or in memory is this only. This one is only a temporary value that is generated for the purpose of addition. Okay, this is not actually saved. Anyways, let's add both of them. 7 plus 2 becomes 9. And the answer is 9.51 into 10 raised to the power 0. So first expression will give you an answer of 9.51. Now let's see what is the result of evaluating this. Step 1 is same. 
we'll just normalize these that means we'll bring the decimal point after the first digit okay so i've noted down the second part of this question you can see all of these numbers have been normalized and we need to solve this bracket first so in this question this part is going to be solved first their exponents are not equal make the exponents equal so which is the smaller number this one or this one now don't consider sign look this number is larger this number is smaller okay so we need to convert its exponent into this number's exponent this is 7 point something this is 111 neglecting the sign okay why are we neglecting sign because in mantisa the mantisa part only 111 is going to be saved here only 7.51 is going to be saved this plus and minus is saved separately okay so there is no chance of losing the sign we can only lose mantisa bits when we round off okay we want to just lose as minimum as possible okay so that the calculations become more accurate anyways let us discuss what i'm saying so if you make its exponent equal to 2 what is the result just try it your, uh, yourself you'll get 0 0.0751 into 10 raised to the power 2 okay just try to solve this if you try to solve this you will shift the red exponent here and you will get 7.51 back okay so this can be written as this now they mentioned three digit floating point arithmetic is used that means we can't support these many digits in the mantisa we can only save three digits so starting from here you can save only till this part that means this number needs to be rounded in question they mentioned three digit floating point arithmetic with rounding off okay so just round this off if this had without rounding off just simply delete this part now they mentioned rounding off that means round off this number so 751 can be rounded off to 8 actually this number it can be neglected just increase the value of this digit 7 so you will get 0 0.08 like this okay that means 7.51 is rounded off to 8 okay we have lost some information but it's okay okay that's not a very big change now we just need to subtract these two okay so the larger one is this so it will be 1.11 minus 0 0.08 okay and the result will have a negative sign because the bigger number is negative so it is going to be 1.0 and it is 1.03 okay now just add this and the result of this calculation so this number is copied as it is it is 1.13 into 10 raised to the power 2 plus negative of 1.03 into 10 raised to the power 2 look now just completely ignore this number this one was also having an exponent 2 and this one is also having an exponent 2 because both of the exponents were equal we'll just perform this calculation and take that exponent only okay we all learned this in school right now it's easy just subtract these two numbers and write the exponent equal to 10 raised to the power 2 so 113 minus 103 it is 10 that means 0 0.10 into 10 raised to the power 2 okay this is your result now all the numbers in question were having this uh, 10 raised to the power 0 if you want to convert it into that form 10 raised to the power 0 just shift this radix point here so you'll get 10 
into 10 raised to the power 0. Okay, so this can be ignored because into 10 raised to the power 0 is always there. So answer to second question is 10. Okay, so 9.51 and 10. These are the answers.